In this lesson, we are going to talk about automation. You can uh, automate uh, any process in this software. This uh, part is very little complex, but it's very sweet. And here, it's uh, uh, the software has a JavaScript or Python, a lot of ready script that you can uh, write. But I want to explain uh, here. You can access the script library in a javascript as you can see we have a lot of experts but i want to explain a little easy process that you want which process do you want to execute? i want to in um, this software insert imported fbx model from a folder uh, feed it to its scene and after that go into the uh, some view and render it to a folder Okay, I want to the software does this process. So here you can simply add a new script. You can write a Python or JavaScript and write your plugin for this software. Uh, your hands is open to do your scripting. And it has a visual scripting. It is very interesting and nice in this software. So you can uh, you'd, uh, use all of these nodes and uh, make your process automa automation. Okay, uh, I have to explain them one by one, but in this lesson, I want to give you a very simple example to understand what is this. In the next lessons or next seasons, we are going more depth in this notes. So <clears throat> first, you have to explore the tabs that you can understand the notes. And as you can see, if you want, you can right click and write your uh, notes that you want instead of uh, search. But I show the which node is where. Here is a file pass. You have to uh, understand the software to where is your file. Click on here and address your uh, folder that your FBX is in it for import it so and after that you can go to yes I think going to here and import it simple you can after that import object from this folder as you can see the color is corresponding you can connect corresponding color and it's right here and here you can add additional comment to that address that file Oh, sorry, this is file pass. I have to insert the folder pass. Yeah, folder pass. You have to click in this click to load the file folder. I'm sorry again, I think the exactly file pass is better. It's right here, file pass. Exactly right, the file pass. Address that FBX file, click here. And now you can click your FBX file and open it. Now it's correct. The FBX file is connected to the import node. And uh, I want to reset the scene before imported. For example, if another scene is imported or another object in the scene, I want to reset that. Where is the reset? I think it's in a scene action. Yes, it is. But you don't want to, you can't find it right click and type a reset or uh, uh, anything that you want here <clears throat> oh where is that uh, reset oh <clears throat> I don't know but I can click and drag it here and click as you can see the this green to the green uh, connect this reset reset it and import it okay okay after import uh, I want to do something after import we don't need it I, if you want to connect the note here you can use it after note what can I do in a, gr a green uh, I want to uh, bring the view to the top okay view control bring my view to the top as you can see after that if you insert a node you can see it's a green so you have to connect green to green it's very easy don't confuse you cannot connect this to this it's self-explanatory 
And after that, I want to zoom to select it. Exactly, uh, feed. Feed uh, camera, feed view. To exactly fit that object to the view. And after that, fit to view. And after that, render. Where is the render? <clears throat> I can't find it. Right click and render. I don't know. What is this search? Shit. <laughs> render. Okay. Uh, where is where is render? Export and after that you can export something. Scene. Uh, well, oh, no, render is here. And you have to connect the green to the green. Okay, it tells you. It uh, says okay. Render it. Before it re render, you can go here and change the render setting to render it fast. Future reality going to render setting in its render setting output PNG HD O SPPR very high. I make it more smaller to render it fast. I make it smaller. PNG JPEG and its output. You can specify the output. Okay, so you have to change your render setting in a software. Okay, it tells you which folder do you want to uh, I store it and which name do you want. You have to define them. Which name? Okay, here is our file. I have to extract its name. I can use uh, I can use this uh, note that uh, extract the file name. Uh, where is that? I have to find it. Where is that file name? Oh, a little confusing. Where is that? Oh God! Oh, I find it here. Get file name. You can insert it, and you have to, of course, connect the this color to the this color. File name. This is a file pass. From the file pass, it gained it's gained the name of the file, and here you can connect the name to name directory. It's very easy. But if you want to add some name to that, you have to go to uh, a string, yes, a string, and add, add a string. Uh, so this uh, first, it's uh, add a string to the string, a name to the name. Uh, it's very easy. So we have to insert a, a name here that we want to write it. And then it's completely add to it and, and you can insert a result to the file name to render. And simply we have to go to the source, go into the source and a string. You can write anything that you want. For example, to top and the top and the name of the FBX is combined and add to each other and go to the renders as a result. And here we have to specify the folder of the export. You can specify any folder that you want or add any folder you want. Uh, folder pass, uh, assign a folder for it. Here we have to uh, specify a folder and uh, uh, connect it to the, as you can see, connect it to the, this folder pass and click in here and uh, to load the folder, to uh, specify a folder that all of the render and exports goes to the that folder that you want. Click and specify that. As you can see, I address the desktop and a new folder, go all of the render and anything there. That's right. And after the render, I want to do something else, for example. 
For example, I want to export. As you can see, you can export it as uh, any object that you want, any format that you want. For example, I want to after that export that FBX to the. Uh, you have to connect this to this. Okay, it means after render, do export. And here you have to specify the folder path for saving and the name. Okay, this name is good for me. That is created from the string. And you can run it. The software do everything for you. Run. And we have no error. As you can see, it's inserted. Going to the top, feed, and render, and export it as the OBJ. It's the software do everything automatically for you and hit OK and go to you that folder. Interesting. This is our FX file exported to the OBJ. It's an OBJ and it's rendered from the top menu. Interesting. So this process is uh, automatically do for you. As you can see, insert our FX insert our fx go into the top menu feed it and click on a render the software do this process automatically for you and save it for you uh, okay this is all about automation in this lesson we have to take uh, the other lessons or other seasons we are go depths in all of the notes and we have to give you an example to teaching you you can uh, experiment all of your this notes and test it out to more learning or waiting for our for us to make a more tutorial thank you hello my friends to continue these tutorials on youtube subscribe us like us and hit the bell icon and now you will be alerted about all of the amazing videos that we release